Hi, everybody. You're listening to the Wife Wednesday Podcast. It's Wednesday, and I'm one of your wives, Sina. And I'm Nicole. Wife Wednesday Podcast is a podcast that we created as a hobby, and it has now become an exciting journey for self-discovery. Dot, dot, dot. But really, we're just two women who talk about anything and everything. So come hang out with us. Catch up time. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, let's talk about this because it was one of the main things I like wrote, needed to have it down in my brain because it happened like days ago. I, it was the day that I dressed nice and wore my polka dot tights. And okay? then we got your video. Yes. And I, it was like one thirty, and I had a, an IT training at 2. I was like, I should go to the bathroom before that because it was supposed to be like an hour and a half long. And our one bathroom that's like a single bathroom, the toilet's flushing funny, whatever. So I have to walk all the way to the other side of the building to go to the Mm multi-use, like six stalls bathroom. Um, I walk in. I go all the way at the end because I had to fix my tights and my chafing shorts. Mm Mm-hmm. Um, so I chose the big stall. Normally it's like, whatever, first one, I gotta pee. I'm not walking to Timbuktu to pee if I can't hold it because mom life. Um, I walk all the way to the end and this older woman walks in behind me, whatever. She walked all the way to the one right next to me. Why? That it's, is terrible yeah. bathroom etiquette. Yes. I'm like, that's, that's as, pardon me. I've got the L taps burps. The best kind. (laughs) Uh, But I'm like, that's just like men's room etiquette where there's like, if there's like multiple urinals, you don't stand right next to the guy. If there's, you two are the only ones there and there's like six other urinals. Yeah. You know what I mean? (laughs) Unless you want to look at someone else's pee. I'm like, are you about to kill me, old lady? (laughs) I was waiting for her hands to go. Or for underneath her, the did stall, you look up to make sure she wasn't standing oh, on the I, toilet. Looking well, over I saw you. her feet. I okay. looked to make sure her feet were there. I'm like, this is gonna be some haunted because I've been watching the Conjuring yeah. movies. <laughs> I'm like, this is about to be some um, possessed granny <laughs> in the stall next to me, and I am about to flip out. <laughs> but seriously, the like, leave at least one stall in between if you can. Like, if it was, like... A side-by-side unavo- stall? Like, if it was unavoidable. Like, okay, whatever. But, like, come How on. many stalls were there? There's six stalls. And I took one, and then she took the one right next to me. So there were four others that she could have chosen from. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> Rude. Um, and then, this week, I'm just uncomfortable wearing clothes. Like, I... They've been messing with the heat at work because we're in Ohio in the point of where it could be 20 degrees one day and then 60 the next. So they don't know how to adjust the heat correctly. So it's been kind of on the cooler side in the beginning of the week. And then come Friday, I was like, "Ooh, I'll wear a sweater because I've been having to like wear a coat all day Mm because I was cold. And they decided to let the heat run all day. (laughs) So I was like sweating all day in jeans i had to keep taking my boots off because my feet would start sweating and that would make my whole body hot yeah and i'm like it's the worst time to live in ohio because you never know what to set your thermostat at you don't know what to wear yes so but on the clothes side i ordered my tights i got the faux garter tights i've been wanting to try those yeah i was like oh i'm gonna try that because peeing at work yes i got the sheer black ones i don't know if they're sheer they're like semi opaque Mm -hmm. all the super opaque and opaque ones were of course sold out in my size of course in black and all their colors are very bright and i'm not a very bright colored person not even a purple no it was like a they didn't even ha- they didn't even have a purple I don't think other than the striped ones. Oh yeah, you can't really wear those. Yeah. At work. So I got those, and then I got a wool a black wool pair. Ooh. Yeah. That's what I need to get. Yeah. And then I ordered some clothes from Torrid. I I ordered new bike shorts because the ones that 
like the chaving shorts I got from Snag Tights, which is where I got my tights. Not a sponsor. Not a sponsor. They uh, they're more like tights fabric, so like they didn't last that well. Like the seam of the hem on the legs like came undone, so it like un- unfolded and was longer than it needed to be. So I ordered some like bike shorts from Torrid. A dress, more pants because I need work pants. And then I ordered something else. Um, and then I mentioned I was in IT training, okay? Never have I been more scared to connect to anyone's Wi Fi. Oh, same. <laughs> than after that uh, training course. Like, Russia really do be trying to get our shit, man. The statistics. What happened to the lights? <laughs> I didn't do it. It's I know it's back to the variety. Um, where's the remote? Wait, stop. I got the remote, and you can choose by number. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Sorry, we have string lights. If you don't watch our lives, they're oscillating lights. Um, and they were just like spazzing out. We were gonna see sure. Uh, and just like how often facebook gets hacked for it's not the word hacked but it's a different word that i can't remember it starts with a b but like four times within like the last month or two and you just don't know it breached breached yes thank you you're welcome uh, I had to that was wonderful but yeah it was i'm like well Guess I'm never answering a phone call or an email (laughs) ever again. I mean, not that I click on emails, but it talked about how, like, I'll get texts. It's like, hey, Lynn. Yeah. (laughs) Or, hey, (laughs) like, they don't even get my name right most of the time. Like, I get it. If you use my middle name, it's my middle middle name. But, like, (laughs) it was like that one time I was Patrick. (laughs) no this is patrick. no this is patrick <laughs> um and then i listened to dungeons and daddies after the season episode and it was pretty good like they talked about you know how in the end um glenn and <laughs> jody, jody and his and <laughs> little nicky <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> came out as a band and as the dead people and they were singing silent night yes that's because Hi, I'm Ron's first debut was Silent Night. I didn't get it until Glenn said something. Because he apparently in the show, they were kind of like a cover band. So they were covering Hi, I'm Ron. Oh, my (laughs) God. Yes. And that's why he chose a Christmas song. Because I thought that was weird. I'm like, why did Glenn choose a Christmas song? Because he's a Christmas. No, he's not. He would have come out like, ah kind of vibe but he ran like a chris he was a christmas band no yeah i don't know but apparently he he was a secret dj oh yes okay i do remember that now (laughs) but he chose that song because it was the hi i'm ron and he was like the cover band for hi i'm ron and it was just everything was coming together i'm like this makes so much more yeah i'm like this made (laughs) so much more in my head now I'm getting my hair done Monday and it Less. needs it badly. Like, I don't know. <coughs> oh, sorry. Phlegm. Phlegm. Hairball. Uh, like I do all around color and then the next appointment I just do roots. And the last appointment was roots, but it seems like it's been a long time since I've had that done. And it, I don't think it has been. <laughs> But to me, I'm like, my hair is dull. I can see all of my roots. <laughs> and the white streak that wants to come in, which I'm going to let it grow in once it's more fuller. Because it just looks like crap right now. <laughs> um, I get the flu shot Monday. I'm very busy Monday at work and at home. Um... The, the need in my body 
to clean and organize is on another level but because like I don't have the energy to do it but I want to do it like my whole cabinet up on top I'm doing that tomorrow (laughs) (laughs) I told Josh I'm like there's gonna be shit going to Goodwill tomorrow or whatever and there's gonna be shit going in the trash and shit going in the basement I'm tired of it Mm -hmm. (laughs) and I want to know what I have to use because I always end up just throwing stuff up there um what else I started I haven't started calorie counting yet but we're not tonight because I definitely just ate my body's weight in Mexican yes that was the only food you ate today though which really concerns me I've been busy. That's not an excuse. I drank an iced coffee. And a beer. A beer. (laughs) Okay. It had a lime in it. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) I will be talking to Alexis. Okay, listen. I have enough body fat to live on. I'm okay. Agreed. You are okay. (laughs) Thank you. But like blood sugar. So you agree. (laughs) So you agree. I slightly agree. But when you mix alcohol and iced coffee on an empty stomach, like girl, you should have at least added some water in there. Okay. So I had iced coffee this morning. Yeah. And then a beer. And then I had a beer. With a lime in it. (laughs) With a lime in it. (laughs) And I had that four o'clock oh so it wasn't the same meal so the t- so the iced coffee was gone <laughs> yeah so it's fine i didn't know mix mixing it. yeah definitely mix so it. it was totally yeah. fine yeah uh-huh yeah. Mm-hmm. uh-huh 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 <laughs> <laughs> um but i have been doing the fasting thing like my fasting started two minutes ago and then i won't eat till ten forty-five, which isn't always a necessity for me, so I can go longer. Because mm-hmm. I find also sitting, I found sitting at work. If I am not busy, I am constantly thinking about, oh, what should I eat? I'm bored, basically. But like Friday, um, my friend Brittany, she was gone. It was her birthday, so she was off. And I had all the apps to myself. I was doing some changes. Like I was busy the whole day. Don't even remember thinking about food kind of vibe yeah so that's my thing is it's just because i'm bored yeah and food though it like releases endorphins because like, yeah your insulin your body releases its yeah insulin blah, 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 blah. so i've been trying to pack more like less but more like i had apples like i schedule when i i was scheduling when i was eating like i would eat when i get there like i would have like a breakfast i like this week i had a banana and cheese <laughs> for breakfast yeah. just because that was the <laughs> vibe what you wanted yeah. yeah and then i would have like a little well i would really have the banana when i got there and then the cheese at like nine so then i was eating lunch at noon and then at three i would have apples but because halloween was around there's candy everywhere still Mm -hmm. and that is the worst thing for me like there's like on monday i'll be throwing any candy in my sight away like i have caramels like werther's but that's like my busy candy when i need to focus candy yeah but i don't really eat those like one after another so i can keep those for now for now and then I was buying Cena gifts because she was having a bad day and I like to make her happy. <laughs> I know. And then I feel guilty because you're buying me stuff. But you bought me things. I bought you a pin, which you left And downstairs. I bought you. I put it in my pocket. Oh, okay. I bought you a pin <laughs> and other things. <laughs> and other things. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I didn't know it would take 30 years, but I suddenly am starting to get blackheads. On my face. It's because when you like go into like your thirties, apparently you go through a second like puberty. It's it's like a different yes. kind of puberty. I literally saw a blackhead and I'm like, what is that? I've never had a blackhead in my life. Like I have that skin. Like I get white pimple heads, whatever. Never get blackheads. And I I had like four. And I, I still have the skin scabs to attest for it but i like went after them boys because i am one of those people if it's there 